In an echo of these calls for change, St. Paul community leaders are planning for a major overhaul of city rec centers. This as a teenager continues to fight for his life after being shot at one of those rec centers. Our Pauline Lee live in St. Paul this morning. And Pauline, these changes range, range from, you know, changes within the rec centers themselves all the way up to the state capitol. Yeah, that's right. Tomorrow will actually mark one week since that shooting at the Jimmy Lee Rec Center. Well, that center has been closed ever since, and it will stay closed as city leaders work to review its safety plans. You remember last week, Mayor Melvin Carter mentioned that state law prohibits cities from banning guns in public recreation centers and libraries. So now he and Ramsey County leaders are working on a bill to change that. In the meantime, he's also calling for an audit on all recreation centers in St. Paul. That's to make sure that they can keep everyone who uses them and the people who work there safe. He says hundreds of students, they flock to those recreation centers after school, and sometimes there's just not enough resources and staff there to help serve everyone. He says in light of the recent shooting, more information has also surfaced about past incidents involving the same suspect charged in this case. This new information raises urgent questions, not only about his conduct, but about our systems to identify, investigate, and intervene in response to incidents and reports of behavior which fall beneath our standards. Now, as city leaders are working to make sure rec centers are safe for people to use again, community leaders are also working to make sure they get to what they call is the root of the problem in schools with young people. We're going to take a closer look at their work coming up in about half an hour or so. All right, sounds good. Pauline, thank you. So nearly a week after a shooting at the Jimmy Lee Rec Center in St. Paul left a teenager fighting for his life, community leaders are coming together to help end violence among young people. Our Pauline Lee is live in St. Paul with a closer look at what they believe to be the root of the problem. Pauline. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, hundreds of students, they use those rec centers here in St. Paul, like the Jimmy Lee Rec Center after school. But community leaders say so often the arguments that start inside school that lead to fights, those fights, they spill out into the community. And unfortunately, sometimes they have deadly consequences. So there's two groups really working to change that. We're talking about Truce Mediators, Truce Center Mediators, and 21 Days of Peace. Leaders from both groups are working together to get into St. Paul schools to build those relationships with students. They say they want to help students work through their problems at the first sign of any conflict before it escalates to violence. It's important to be able to have relationships with these kids inside of the school and give them an outlet to, you know, being able to express their emotions and their feelings and having that, that person they can talk to. A lot of them, you know, for whatever reasons, don't have a uncle or a dad at home. I'm willing to give 150 percent because I'm tired of doing these funerals. Uh, their life is worth living. Now, as for the 16-year-old who was shot at the Jimmy Lee Rec Center, he was shot in the head, so he's still recovering at the hospital. Some good news, though, uh, we've learned that he's now responding to doctors, but still a long road ahead for him. Now, the city is also working to overhaul its plans for rec centers here in St. Paul. Now, that includes an audit of how they work, just to make sure that they can keep everyone who uses them and the people who work there safe. And they also are keeping the Jimmy Lee Rec Center closed for now as it reviews its safety plans. And you can learn more about it on our website, WCCO.com. Our Pauline Lee, live for us in St. Paul. Pauline, thank you.